Joining me now with more on the conflict and America's absence in the resolving the war, retired Navy SEAL Master Chief and Will Spencer. Will Spencer. Thank you so much, Monica. Thank Happy you for be being here. here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so where is America in this? Um, China's coming into the conflict to try and negotiate a peace deal. Um, but I feel like that's only going to strengthen ties between Russia and China, obviously. Um, and I see this as America is becoming more isolated. Um, can you break down what the dynamics of this are? Yeah, you know, it's the uh, great Game of Thrones that's happening in the global world right now. And um, the sharks smell a little bit of blood in the water. And I've always said, you know, if you have weak leadership, people see it, they sense it, and they see opportunity in it. And then there's an old adage that people said, and you probably heard it many times before, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And that holds true to today. And that's probably why sanctions haven't really been working well. You know, every time we apply Western sanctions on North Korea, as an example, historically, or now on Russia, what happens? China sees an opportunity to trade more with North Korea or trade more with Russia, enrich their coffers by subverting our Western sanctions, taking that extra money from more trade, modernizing their military, upgrading their technology and preparing to fight America. And that's the honest truth of what is actually happening. And uh, didn't the media make it seem like everything was going to go terrible under Trump, but everything actually is falling down under this Biden regime? Well, you know, I, I, I hate to point to the <laughs> negative aspects of what's happening in our nation because we all have tremendous amount of hope. We have faith that we have leaders in all positions of authority that are going to do the right thing for America, for Americans. But honestly, after all my years of service and fighting and toiling in the trenches, I can't point to one thing this administration or his uh, political appointee tees have done that are good for our nation. Um, and I think that our adversaries sense and see that as well. And it's, um, it's kind of all interconnected, right? I mean, the world relies so much on a, a strong American economy. Um, so if, hypothetically, hypothetically, guys, um, if someone or something wanted to ultimately uh, dominate the world, you'd have to get rid of a strong America. You'd have to weaken America, possibly from the inside out. So is this an economic war that we're, we're entering? We are, have been and we are currently engaged in an economic war, and I think we're losing. And I think uh, our adversaries, well, they start off as competitors, and we're all going to compete, and there's fair competition, and we want that. But when they see weakness, they turn into your adversary. And then that can actually be pushed into being your enemy, which is right now several of our, uh, like China, are on that precipice of that and preparing for that uh, most likely uh, outcome. Um, so we have been in economic warfare. China is engaged in talks with Saudi Arabia right now to undermine the U.S. dollar as the uh, world uh, currency. And they want, instead of having a petrol dollar trading all oil and gas on the open market, they want the yuan or the yen to be traded as such. Kenya just moved off the U.S. dollar as far as trading uh, oil and gas on it. So more people are pulling away. Russia did as well. So they know economically, look, you can't fight a war anywhere unless you're economically strong. You have to have resources to, to, to stay in the fight, to continue the fight, and win the fight. So if they undermine us economically, which they have been doing, with help from the inside of our nation, they're going to, be, they're going to have that advantage going into a potential kinetic conflict in the future. So now we have to ask, you know, is the enemy from within? Are there enemies that are, are foreign? Yes, but domestic as well. And how can we identify them? Who's in on this demise of America? How did they get in? Um, unfortunately, it seems as though the, the establishment is, they've become the establishment, right? And they're protecting all of the players in this. There's, there's just so much to really unpack here. And I think our founding fathers who started this uh, uh, a nation and fought for this nation, spirited with our Judean Christian values, understood and in our oath it, to defend the Constitution, against enemies foreign and domestic. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. 
Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.